select to make your first pick. Get it on you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Get it on you. Choose and pick the best one. Get it on you. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get it on you. Good morning. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the State Palace Theater here in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana, for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds in the middleweight division, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. And his opponent across the way, Kevin Lundin, the Rock Caldwell. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Teddy, can the shorter fighter in a matchup like this be effective with a power punch, or does he have to reach up too much? Joe, not only can a shorter fighter in this kind of situation be effective, he will be effective if he comes out of a weave with a punch, because now, usually the taller guy, he's punching down. And when you punch down, you leave an opening. He just missed that shot up top. Double jab, such a useful tool, especially to the body like that. Blocks that punch. Well played, straight right hand. Two snapping jabs by Caldwell. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand score. Caldwell's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Rock'em, sock'em, robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Caldwell showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Side to side. Or alongside Teddy Atlas. A lot better than our day we spent at the horse track the other day where we couldn't get any winners, at least I couldn't. But uh, we were talking about the fact that so many parallels to be made between boxing and life boxing and all these other sports we enjoy, like horse racing, of being well conditioned and working your way up to this one singular moment. Yeah, well, the trainer obviously has to get the athlete. In this case, the athlete happens to be over a thousand pounds, and that's a horse. You know, at peak condition, he has to look at a calendar just like a trainer does with a fighter, know when the race is, know when the fight is and not get used up out on the track or used up, of course, in the gym. He scored well after being hit himself. And now another left. Nice strike after catching one by the kid. Good, solid right hand lands. Right to the head with that right. Teddy, I think he's gonna go. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. He goes down for the first time. One. Get up, get up, get two. Up. Come on, get up. Caldwell's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Scoring well with that combination by Caldwell. Missed the body shot. Good effective work with that straight right hand. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him, a guy that's going to move a little bit, 
start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Good combination by Caldwell. Stay away from those. Don't let him get at you. Open for the hook. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. What an excellent two punch combo by Caldwell. The kid's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Now that's some fine work right there by Caldwell. The kid's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. That's it, just like that. Caldwell's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Final minute of this round that has been nothing but two straight minutes of non-stop fury. Fasten your seatbelt, more turbulence ahead. The kid's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Caldwell's using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see, a good combination. Having put his opponent down on the canvas, he's already easily taken the first three rounds of this fight as we begin round number four, Teddy. Well, it has been easy for him because his opponent has no defense. He just walks in and he's eating punches. The kid spins. Oh, and there you go. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's over. This fight is over. Caldwell's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And welcome to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds in the middleweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Bam Bam's making his way to the ring. You wouldn't know he's about to step into a fight. He looks like he's just out for a stroll. Caldwell's giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. Introducing first, in the middle corner, by way of Brooklyn, Bam Bam! His adversary, coming out of London, the Rook Caldwell! All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's all go. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Keep working the bodies. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, 
and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. Blocks the headshot. Caldwell's combination punching is working well here. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. There's the combo downstairs. Now he missed that right. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Set up punch, one, two, two jabs to the body. Well placed counter punch by Caldwell. And he returns on that exchange. Little volume punching to the body there. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Here we go, round two is underway. Caldwell's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. He's committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Great job, he gave one right back in return. Nice work by Bam Bam. And now he's targeting upstairs. Caldwell's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab, and now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past him. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old timers used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. This is what they worked on in training camp. Another good combo by Caldwell. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good looking counter punch. There's the combo to the body. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Caldwell's right hand. And round number three is underway. Good work with that lead hand, doubling up the jab by Caldwell. Caldwell's favorite punch is the jab, and tonight, he's loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, you know, small fork on the left, knife on the right, and the food right in the middle. And he's eating all night. Taking some English etiquette class. <laughs> you getting hungry? Good double jab by Caldwell. Keep your distance. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Landing two jabs by Caldwell. Trade shots, he comes back with a right hand. Good doubling up of the jab by Caldwell. Bam Bam's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. There's a 
taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Double jab by Caldwell. Caldwell's right hand scores well. Little double jab to the head. Now start around number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard and get his insight. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Very accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire right back with one of his own. Good work by Bam Bam. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Caldwell. Bam Bam is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Halfway through round number four. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Keep moving. Work the fight. Work the fight. Bam Bam's right hand scores well that time. And his nose has started to bleed. Jab with a straight, classic combination. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Goes up top with a right hand. Bam Bam's lack of defense this, right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand consistently. Yes, he found the target for that early on, and he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. And he digs in with the jab, cutting down the That's breather. the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. One, two jabs up top. Well timed by Caldwell. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Bam Bam. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Caldwell's hurt by a big shot. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. We better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Bam Bam's not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant just camped out. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. How about a return to sender with the left hand? And a good solid one-two combo by Caldwell. Caldwell's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Bam Bam. The start of the sixth round. Caldwell's corner has to be pleased with everything they've seen so far tonight. Consensus ringside is that this is a one-sided fight, that he's in complete control on the scorecards. Yeah, well, he's having his way, and it's not going to change unless 
he gets a little cocky here. If he starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting them together the way he's doing, maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope, a little ray of hope, get back in this fight. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. Caldwell's a slugger. There's no other way to describe him but that. But that style is a perfect this fit for this ball. fight. He's winning these middle rounds. Yeah, he loves this. This is a PS6 ball, and he's very comfortable in that kind of bout. Caldwell's proving to be elusive. Jab right hand. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Bam Bam. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Nice job, Snap. Wow! He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York City Arena here at Midtown Manhattan for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds in the middleweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. The Blade's got a target on his opponent from the moment he steps out of that locker room to every step he takes during this ring walk, you can see exactly what's in his scope. Caldwell's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're gonna see based on this ring walk. Here we go. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one scheduled for 10. is it for a big heavy hitter a power puncher to have space to not be smothered well he can't use his power if he's in a phone booth so to speak he has to have a little bit of room to be able to use that great weapon a crafty counter punch after a fine defensive effort by caldwell Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Wow! A good knife punch. That back power hand just One, scored the knockdown. Two. Well, that may have been just a flash knockdown there, Teddy. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear-headed. His legs are okay. Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands why he got caught. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. The Blade's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Committing to the head work, you see him go there again. A flush hook scores well for him. Comes back 
with an overhand right. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Caldwell's heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are under him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place, and the referee's going to stop and his opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's got to do is test them out a little bit. So now you know how to go about surviving the round. Do you just stay on the ropes and move your head, or do you use your bicycle? Keep your head moving. The blades combination punching is working well here. Set up punch, one, two, two jabs to the body. Caldwell's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. Good power punch, the right hand landed. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fight. He is solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five. Tom, that's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a quarter man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is the scary cut, as you just said. Caldwell's proving to be elusive. He has found his groove with his right hand. Move, move. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Caldwell's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Up, up, up. Able to block and counter back. And he returns on that exchange. There's the combo downstairs. Halfway through this round here. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the blade. And bang, and away he goes. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. The Blade's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Yeah, I like what I see. See, the defense pays off see, as he gets rid of that downstairs. Focus. And Focus. clicks of the talk. Come on, come the Blade's on. the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. 
find the target. We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time, Clay, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. The blade's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it can get nasty as the fight progresses. Nice block by Caldwell. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the blade. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Caldwell. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He gives run. as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Right back to the body. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Double jab, double jab. There you go. There you go. Everybody, everybody. And now he's targeting upstairs. He commits to the counter punching the over. What a big shot. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there. Last and round, he scored the knockdown. He knows how to get back in a fight. Yeah, there's no panic in him. You know, he just scored the knockdown, but even before that, no panic in him. He understands how many rounds are in front of him. Blocks the headshot. Look at that! A non-stop swarming attack puts him down. His opponent One, feels like he's in a rainstorm. Three, four, five, six. There's just no quit in this guy. He's been damaged, but still he's trying to make a fight of it. Look, I love that about him. The fans love that about him. It's great, but he's got to learn when it's time to turn it off, when it's time to clinch a little bit, survive a little. Come on, Caldwell's punch, movement's punch, really punch. helping him out, avoiding that punch. Very nice work to the head, the right hand landed. Halfway into round number five here. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Caldwell. Back to the body, back to the body. They trade shots, he comes back with a right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it, back and forth, toe to toe, Punch for punch. That's what I like Little volume see. punching That's to the body there. Fighting, Good clean oh, shot oh, returning oh, oh, oh. fire. Well done by the blade. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. There's that South oh, Hall well. Cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Avertine, Adrenaline, and Thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Get inside, get inside. Hey, How about that? Another right hand. You 
you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Oh, you're doing great. The Blaze putting time. forth a great combination there. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Jump on it, jump on it right now. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Takes line. one, but gives one. Good work he by the blade. Pushing. And now he's targeting upstairs. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Big, big shot he just scored with. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Six. You want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to dry a little bit. You got to wait for your guy to wake up. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. Jazz. Super two-punch combo the by Caldwell. The, the Blades able to avoid that punch. Goes up top with a right hand. The Blades is coming out here after being... Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He is swinging for the fences trying to get his man after being hurt himself. Oh! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, The ref is stopping this fight. The Blades, a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. And it wasn't long ago we looked at your scorecard and he was trailing in this fight. Now, he's sitting...